So first up is Jill Valentine, played by Hannah John Kamen, and really the only bad thing I have to say about Jill in this movie is she's fucking attracted to Wesker, which the whole love triangle thing was retarded. But that's not on her, and that's not on her character, it's the script. But other than that, she's fucking awesome. She plays a great Jill. She's a firecracker, very much a smartass at all times until it's time not to be. And the way she's able to make that change between emotions is very believable. Not over the top at all, and I was happy to see her compassionate side come out too in the movie. You see, in the original Resident Evil 3, and this is something that the Resident Evil 3 remake didn't do right either, Jill, as angry as she was, was still very compassionate about the people around her, even if they were working for Umbrella, because they were still people. Victims in all this, just like the innocent people turned into zombies. And so she did what she could to help, despite their differences, all for the overall survival of everyone. See, there's a scene in the movie where the Star's Alpha team and Leon are in a diner. Leon, who's fucking smashed, is sleeping at the counter, and Wesker puts a ketchup bottle on top of his head, and bets Jill ten bucks she can't shoot it off. One thing to note in this movie that's different from the games is that Jill is an expert marksman now, instead of the team's B&E expert. So Jill, being the smartass that she is, pulls out her sidearm, aims it at the ketchup bottle, only for Wesker and Richard to jump up to stop her. You then find out that Wesker meant for her to shoot him with the toy dart gun that he had. So Jill ups the ante and bets 20 bucks that she can hit it off of his head without even looking. And like the smartass that she is, she shoots Wesker in the head with the toy dart gun, and then throws the gun at Leon who is startled awake and the ketchup bottle falls off of his head. Now in that same scene, but a little bit later on, Jill and the rest of the team go to leave and she walks up to Leon and introduces herself. She tells him not to worry about all these other cops giving him shit, they're really nice people at the end of the day. That is classic Resident Evil 3 Jill Valentine right there. Hannah's performance as Jill is very dynamic, she's a great actress and she did a great job playing Jill overall. I just wish it wasn't in this movie, because she deserves better. Her Jill deserves better. If the studio decided to reboot this movie and give it another try, I would love to see Hannah reprise the role. Yeah. <laughs>